It's going to be a nice matchup, Steve, between Lewis and KG. There's Lewis out around the three-point arc, steps back. Had it knocked away by Marco Yard. As to what Nate McMillan tried to do last year with the Sonics team, and of course, that was a winning formula. Hassel left open on the baseline, and Trenton Hassel not known for his offensive firepower. Here, it's, it's a different approach, and the wilder it gets, the more it affects his game. National team this past summer on the European Championship Tournament. Very trying to take advantage of his size, misses that one. But Garnett's going to have to be Garnett. He's going to have to play big all the time. Hey, what did I say about Hassel not being an offensive-minded player? He's got four now in Minnesota. He's fully recovered. And, man, if they would have had him at full strength, who knows what that series might have come to. It would still <laughs> That's what it would have come Okay, we would have gone to game seven. It has been early foul trouble. When he gets one, he usually gets two, looking to try to get another. Well, they you know, throw it into him again. Baseline jump hook. That's his thing. But, you know, he's got to have space and, and room to work. And if you give him that, he's going to find a rhythm. Yard. Knocks down the three ball. And Minnesota's primarily at the three-point line. So he's hot and cold. If he is not making the three, then sometimes you get nothing from Rod Bonovic. Great ball movement, which pays off with a three ball from Yard. In the corner to Serbia. Nice step back jump shot. And Wally World knocks down the baseline, Jay. You know, laugh. Oh, knock down the three ball. That's the first one of the night for the Sonics, but uh... Yarich answers with his third three pointer of the ball game. Marco. Yarich up court. Coming back to Garnett. KG inside, double team, spins baseline, and over three guys, KG. Old Michael Jackson song, and Jackson 5 to him. I'm not going to ask you to hum a few bars. <laughs> Yarich from downtown, actually just inside the three point arc. Was serious about joining the Cavaliers for a while before the style of play that he likes. Well, he didn't turn down 42. Daniels, and right now it appears that Rittenauer is reaping the benefits of that move. Well, Rittenauer did not get to play a lot in his rookie season as Garnett rolls in for two more. Vegas, and this is the time of the game where you see how much that bonding really pays off. In the crunch, Garnett down low, working over Fortson, and gets the baseline jump shot. Uh, Garnett was 7 of 10 prior to that and comes to you all the time. They swing it around, weak side. He Yarich out top now with nine on the shot clock. Serbiak lets it fly and got it to fall. How you got the offensive opportunity. Marco Yarich has made three threes tonight, missed that time, but Minnesota with the offensive rebound. Another open look for Yarich. That time he made Seattle pay the price. The agent acquisition knocking down his fourth three of the night. He's got 18 in the ball game, folks. We got a great finish when we come back. It's in the NBA, a busy night in the league. Yards with the steal from Ridnow. A little bit for that miss at the end of regulation. Well, it's a three-point lead, and there's still plenty of time. And what Minnesota wants to do is keep answering, keep the game close. This one is in the books. Seattle wins its first home game of the season after.